Hello good humans, by explaining female nature to women, you're either attempting to display your intellectual prowess or attempting to revise her nature in hopes she will change her ways to meet the standard of the ideal woman you were conditioned to expect and are biologically predisposed to perceive her as. Both efforts are futile, there's nothing to gain. Anything positive derived from this endeavor is negligible and not worth the effort. She is not a man and will never be one. Accept this nature for this acceptance shall set you free. Understand the female psyche, women build with defensive mechanism about their behavior as a factory setting upon birth to allow them to navigate the sexual marketplace to their advantage with optimized efficiency, no cognitive dissonance, while pursuing the female imperative. Nature has sabotaged their psyche with installments of inhibitory components and psychological defense mechanisms to fulfill a purpose. The framework from which all female psychology is built is solipsism. A characteristic of this condition is what she feels, is. The mere existence of that feeling is the justification of its validity along with the behavior to which it manifests itself. The second condition from which all else follows is self-inductance, or to reflexively resist external changes toward the current narrative of reality that her immediate feelings produce. A woman's brain does this by activating a series of interconnected psychological defense mechanisms. The very things we sometimes complain about women, irrationality and emotional instability, is what makes them a woman. It's in their nature. These are not bugs, they are features. Try to understand them and their behavior, most women may take your constructive criticisms as insults to their integrity and character, so you have to be careful about handling those situations. Most women operate by emotions, people give more importance to how you say more than what you say. Understand and operate. Thank you, have a nice day.